And I just would like to know that, those, Gary, you mentioned a few businesses. I would like to see on paper what it's going to cost them because we're not under an obligation to pay for it as a council, but in our back of our mind, we make a decision that's going to cost somebody that may be directly taken. We're going to decide that at a later date. So without a number associated to that, I think it's fair enough to get that extra input. Um, yeah, I'll just point out that uh, the next council meeting is actually scheduled for hearing, and that may be that between now and then, if this is to be referred, there's some further work to be done, and that can be brought back to the council. councils are actually in the room. Okay, well, from my point of view as Mayor um, of the district and having spoken to most of the councillors around the table, I think it's um, unfair to ask nine councillors who haven't been involved in this process at all uh, to make this decision here today. I want to reimburse them. We are a webcam and you can hear me in the back of the room, I'm sure. This council is not going to shirk away or turn away from its responsibilities in this matter. It's not going to be just put in the cupboard and forgotten about but it is going to have to be addressed more thoroughly because I, for one, and I can hear it around the room from my fellow councillors, uh, cannot uh, give a conscious, honest vote here today because we don't know enough about it and we want more information. We have formulated a resolution here today which basically says that this matter will be workshopped again, uh, headed by the Tūrangi Tongariro Community Board. The Tūrangi Tongariro Community Board will involve Kaupo District Council councillors, which are all you ladies and gentlemen around the table, because you are district councillors. Uh, we will be addressing the matter of, of all the issues, including every name change as it comes up. Uh, we will be addressing the issue of who pays and what it costs in a thorough manner, uh, including the businesses that could have redress to us, having to change business cards or whatever the issues is, advertising, etc., etc. But this workshop will take place forthwith, and a decision will be made forthwith, and by forthwith I'm using a time frame of one or two months perhaps, because we have to get together. There has been information that has come out since the community board made its recommendation, uh, and I think that uh, that's the fairest way to go. Um, we've got to do our job correctly and properly, and I see that as being the most expedient um, way forward uh, with this issue. So, Maggie? I'd just like to request that it is an open workshop to yes. all interested parties, please. It uh, would be an open workshop, most definitely. Uh, we don't um, go behind closed doors unless we totally uh, need to. Um, it will be an open workshop, and I think we need to set a very strong format. Uh, people that maybe don't support it and people that do, we need to hear them equally. A little bit like uh, a submission process, although not quite in that depth. We will deliberate, then we can make a fair and honest and conscious decision especially the nine of us that have not been involved in this from its inception by the community board. So I have written, had written out a uh, resolution here, and I reiterate again, this is not going to just go down the river on a boat. It's going to get addressed one way or the other. That, sorry, that Taupo District Council is committed to resolving this matter forthwith and confirms that Turingi Tongariro Community Board Recommendation 5046 proposing new street names for certain streets and reserves in Turingi be referred back to the board for further information and that the board hold a workshop for council and immediate families of those previously recognised in the street and reserve names and Ngāti Turingi Tukua on this matter. And that's my resolution. So if that is adopted here today, that should mean that there will be a workshop in the very near future. Everything will be put on the table and then council can make a decision and I would go so far as to say I'd be a very, very unhappy mayor if that decision was not made this side of Christmas. Can I just ask the staff, though, you know, to, if, you know, I know that you're talking until you get a decision that you can't do a costing. Apart from those four you know, um, names that you know, <coughs> could be controversial, all the rest of these, can we get a costing on those? Because I think we all agree that it's, they are just... Um, you know, correct spelling and correct pronunciation for those streets. Is, is it all the councillors agree on that? So we don't need to. Councillor Henderson? Yeah. Well, just to respond to Councillor Downard, I believe we have got some costings on those. But the issue is more <coughs> the, um, the indirect cost of businesses of changing materials and promotional stuff. Yeah, that's what we're on that matter, I'd ask for that. So I know it's been said that could be difficult to get together. But from what you've heard today, it's probably pretty clear. But 
I would also like to be very, very clear, my apologies, but so I'll make it very, very clear, on behalf of the Kaupo District Rate Payer, I'm not going to go down without a fight for a central government. A central government had erred or made mistakes or whatever in the 1960s, happy to be part of a, a, a team putting it right, but central government needs to write checks. And no matter how big or small it is, and we, at least we need to try. We should not be going around fixing central government's problems with ratepayers' money. <coughs> so Good. that needs to be part of the workshop, whether they chop us down or not. My apologies, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I was going to answer the, 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 those questions, and we'll do some more work between now and, and when that workshop is, and um, hope to present <coughs> a bit more of a range of, of costs, so from F to Y, like to what it's going to cost, and then we'll that information. I know from my point of view, from 1971 to 1973, I think it was, I lived in Turing, I was the manager of Ridley Motors down there. I know she had to who, I knew a lot of those people. Happy, great place it was. So a little bit of history there for myself as well, along with all the Italians and the red wines. But we've got to get to the bottom of this and sort it out once and for all. So you've got my commitment on weekend, and if you follow me, uh, back me, fellow councillors, we will be addressing this issue ASAP. We will get a resolve before Christmas. Uh, and we will do the job properly. So, uh, <coughs> Dr. Johnson, I'll just finish this slide to thank the families for coming up and um, supporting the change because it's good to see you and helps us understand how passionate you are about it. Thank you. Okay, and, Councillor, what did you give the end up? Uh, yes, sure. I'm just going to um, disagree with you on one thing in the workshop. And that is that. Um, um, I, I really, um, I really don't see any. I, I would really hate to see this whole matter protracted by getting us into an argument with central government over um, them funding, uh, arguing over them funding the the, um, the cost of this <coughs> when it's very unlikely, unless there's a strong likelihood that we have a um, <coughs> positive outcome. Because I don't, from what, uh, from the. the I've done, we, we will not be getting that from them. And I can't see um, this, uh, notwithstanding one, two, three, and four, the Decker, Gibson, Gold Coast, McLaren Park, the other the other changes are, are not that substantial. As, um, therefore, I, I, I would think, I would hope that the cost would be quite small for those businesses because they can just, they could be made incrementally, if at all. So, you wouldn't like me to um, like the government will get staff to approach them to see if our funders will just get back paid for it. No, I don't. I don't think that. Um, I think we've got to, as uh, Councillor Donuts, Chris, we've got to, we've got to find out how what are, what is the cost for these people and then make it. What are the, are the possible costs and our, and ramifications to the rate payers and then make a decision based on that. But I don't think we should be challenging central government at this stage. Oh, I don't see it as a challenge, Councillor Williams, but just to fucking figure out a try, if it was $75,000, just for a figure, to uh, to right wrongs that have been done in the 60s, you don't think we should at least attempt to get it out of the people that caused the wrong? Well, um... I'm going down to challenge them, I'm not yeah, going down to fight Well, um, other councils have tried. I, I suggest, um, if, if you talk to, um, talk to the Mayor of Wamanui about the H and see how far they got with central government. To workshop it, so you can't see the cost in the eight years. I don't know what the costs are because the staff have not produced it with those costs. When they do, we can address it. If it's 50 grand, I'm at least going to write to Treasury and ask if we can have the money, please. Because the ratepayer shouldn't have to pay central government bills, in my opinion. We may not get it, but we've got to try. That's the I was just going to say, I think we're getting a bit sidetracked on the cost thing because. Uh, what in the effect we're saying is we may not make these changes because it's going to cost something. I mean, I'm, I'm suggesting, or in the new um, uh, suggested uh, resolution, apart from the board's recommendation, there was a second part to that. And basically, all of the first, except we um, uh, reconsider McLaren Park, Decker Drive, Gibson Street, and Todd Close. So 
So what I'm suggesting is that we could simply adopt the other changes and defer these um, four changes for the workshop. Now we feel that the correct name's done that, but doesn't that still put a cost on businesses we need to know? Just just so we know for our own conscience where, where that's at. And then I fully support Mayor Rick asking the government for, for a check towards this. I mean, to me it just feeds my conscience to make sure I'm making the exact decision and, and not affecting the parties have to pay for it. I understand the order. I just want to remind everybody whilst I'm the first person to uh, listen to freedom of speech at Ketchup Field. I put a motion before. I read the motion to you. I didn't get a second it. If I don't get a second it, it fails. Uh, if I do get a second it, it can be spoken for. And it